This is hydrofluoric acid poisoning. This is uh, an interesting toxidrome that I went with a parody of Ghost Rider as far as the illustration. Ghost Rider is a character from Marvel Comics who rides a motorcycle and in this particular poisoning one of the potential exposures to hydrofluoric acid could be rim cleaner to clean the rims of his motorcycle and as well hydrofluoric acid is absorbed through the skin but has an effect on the bones whereas it will pull out calcium and affect the magnesium levels so I thought of the skeleton with a leather jacket with his hand flaming on fire because that's how painful this condition is going to be for the patient. Sources of hydrofluoric acid include certain chemicals that remove rust, chemicals used to clean bricks and subway cars, chemicals used for glass etching, rim cleaners, and certain jewelry, jewelry cleaners. Classic story for hydrofluoric acid poisoning is going to be a glass etcher that comes into the emergency room or any individual using these chemicals that absorb a significant amount through their skin coming to the emergency room complaining of severe burning pain on their hand several hours after exposure. The pain is going to seem way out of proportion to the extent of the individual's burns. They're going to complain of a deep burning pain at the site of exposure. Checking labs, you'll find hypocalcemia, hypomagnesiumemia. As well, they might exhibit signs and symptoms of hypocalcemia, such as muscle spasm, Chekhov sign, and Trousseau sign hyperkalemia and with these various electrolyte abnormalities there's going to be EKG changes. EKG changes can include QT prolongation, peaking of the T wave from the hyperkalemia. The mechanism of action from this toxin is related to the sequestration of both calcium and magnesium from the patient's serum. Treatment of this injury involves neutralization of the acid using calcium gluconate gel. In cases of a pinch where you don't have calcium gluconate gel, you can take Tums, which is calcium carbonate, smash them up and pulverize them, mix it with a jelly such as a lidocaine jelly, fill up a glove with that fluid and jelly mixture you've created and put it on the patient's hand. In severe cases, the patient might require intra-arterial calcium glucinate to help neutralize the acid and prevent further electrolyte dyscrasia. Patients that have this type of intoxication are going to require cardiac monitoring, frequent EKGs, and as well as serum electrolytes.